Welcome back to Lil Cricket Crafts. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. If you're not new here, welcome back. I just want to say I am so excited to be back here on YouTube with you guys. I have missed it. I know I have been absent. I haven't posted any new videos in a couple weeks. Um, work has been crazy um, with teaching. My positions moved around, doing some new things, and just getting accustomed to stuff. So by the time I get home and then I do my out school classes sometimes during the week, I'm just like, uh-uh, I'm not crafting. I'm not videoing. I'm ready to take a shower and I'm ready to chill. But guess what? We're in like this Arctic blast. So I don't have work until Wednesday and um, I'm here for y'all. So let's do something. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do today is I didn't show you the original product. Well, let me take that back. If you watched my latest Dollar Tree haul, I believe it was my latest one. Um, I showed you a tray, a plastic tray that I got from the Dollar Tree. And you can get these plastic trays at the Dollar Tree, at Walmart, at Target, wherever. They're going to be cheap regardless where you go. But I got mine at Dollar Tree because it's exactly just $1, not like $1.48, nothing like that. I got this plastic tray. This is the bottom, so it's the textured. And I showed you this in my video. It's textured, and then the top was just clear. But, okay, my niece and family came to visit, and my niece is this wonderful artist. So she just did, like, a rough coat on there for me. Um, and we didn't video it because we had a lot going on, but this was just a clear plastic tray and the bottom is textured. I'm not even going to worry about doing the bottom because this is ultimately what we're going to do today is make this a little prop sign. So if you've been with me on this journey of crafting, um, you would know that we finished our corner shelf. And I actually need to post an updated picture because y'all have not seen it painted and distressed. It's so beautiful. Okay, so my boyfriend did an awesome job on building the shelf. And then we went to Home Depot, picked out the colors. Um, we stained the shelves and then we stained the, um, the frame. But then we painted it white and distressed it so you would see the wood stain on the frame. Um, through it and y'all it looks so beautiful and I'll post the picture for you but anyways I will get off track because I'm just so excited to be here um so this is ultimately going to be a prop for that shelf I'm going to put welcome y'all because I say y'all like 500 times a day that's a hyperbole. I'm exaggerating. But um, I really say y'all a lot. Even my students at work um, called me out for it one time. They said, Miss, you say y'all a lot. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I get it. I do. But I can't help it. That's just who I am. Okay, so uh, yeah. So we already painted it one time with uh, my Waverly Steel paint. Let me get that and show you. So here is my Waverly Steel. Okay, we got a little messy when we were painting. Um, you know, if you're not being messy, are you really doing a good job? Okay, some people really are doing a good job if they're not messy, okay? I'm usually not a messy person, but um, this gets a little messy, it's okay. So this is the Waverly Inspirations brand. It is chalk paint, and this one is called Steel. I know you can't see it because I messed it up, but um, Steel Acrylic Paint Chalk. Got this from Walmart, I think. This big thing that is um, eight fluid ounces. I think it was only like six or seven dollars. And it goes a long way. I still have a ton left and I painted this thing already just roughly. And then next what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, go over it with some, this one is Waverly chalk paint as well. I got the smaller one on this one because they didn't have any of the big ones. But this one is the elephant color. It is called elephant. You can see that elephant color. And I'm going to um, kind of just go over this. And this is also going to look distressed. Um, as you know, if you follow this channel, my apartment, I love the farmhouse look. And ultimately when I have a house, it's gonna be completely farmhouse. Everything's gonna be like redone. Um, but this is the chalk paint as well. We're going to make this look a little bit distressed and thin. 
we are going to head on over to the Cricut, of course, little Cricut crafts, and we are going to make a decal with some black permanent adhesive vinyl that says, welcome y'all, and then it's gonna be propped up on that beautiful shelf that I need to show you. So you'll see the finished product if you stay tuned to the end of this video. So let's get started. guys now that we have our tray painted with the elephant um waverly chalk paint over the steel remember i painted it the waverly chalk paint steel color first and now i just went over it with the elephant color i can't really put it up just yet it's still wet and it's drying um in certain places and then i'm going to take a piece of sandpaper and distress it up a little bit um i might add a little bit of white on top here um and then start distressing i haven't quite decided yet but stay tuned for the process and you'll see dry I just barely did it just to gonna give it um, a brighter look we're going to sand a little bit in certain places Cricut Design Space ready to go for our Cricut to cut our decal. I am using this huge roll of black adhesive permanent vinyl. I got this off of Amazon and this will actually be the first time I'm using it. So I can't tell you if I love it or if I hate it yet. So we will see how this turns out. But um, in case I do love it, I'll let you know at the end of this video. And if I do, I will link it below um, because this is a huge roll. It's gonna last a long time. I got this one and I got a white one, same brand same size and i only paid maybe 30 bucks for both of them and i'm not sure the exact um like how much it is but i can link it in the description and provide those details below for you so let's get this cut out so we can put it under the cricket and get this decal on our tray Okay guys, so we have our decal ready to go. Welcome y'all. Update, love the adhesive vinyl from Amazon. So it'll be linked below. Um, it is like really sturdy and I got a lot of it for super cheap, 15 bucks for a whole roll. You cannot get that at Michael's or anywhere else I'm shopping for my craft stuff. So this was definitely a steal and it is like sturdy vinyl. I may have something to do because it's matte vinyl as well. Um, but loved it, loved it, loved it. Pretty easy to weed and I like um, the look of it. It looks clean. 
Um, so now let's use my favorite. If you follow my channel, you know what I'm about to pull up. My favorite transfer tape from, again, Amazon. Um, still have this much left, guys, and I've had it since I got my Cricut, which is like eight months ago at this point. And it is amazing. It works perfectly. It's clear when you take off the backing, has lines, so you can be sure to get everything perfectly straight. Um, love it. As always, linked below as well. Okay, so let's get our decal on our tray. it turned out so cute I you consider it more in the middle um, I really didn't I should have but um, that's okay if I want to redo it I can always just peel these off and redo it but for my first time trying something like this I think it turned out cute and it's perfect for my house um, you can even lighten up the edges a little bit more if you want or even just do this white so it'll pop even more however you like it but for just an experimental project I think it turned out super cute so now I'm going to attach the final product of it sitting on our shelf. And I hope you enjoyed this craft. I am so happy to be back and sharing these crafts with you now that I have a little bit of time. And I hope to see you on my next one because it'll be super soon after this one, okay? Um, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my crafts from here on out. And I will see you next time.